ago tomorrow when this actually happened. Uh, and we're, uh, we wanted to do something to celebrate the people who made this happen. Uh, that's why we brought all the uh, pioneers, as we're referring to them, uh, to come back and uh, see what we've done uh, in the interim 30 years. We also want to recreate the ceremony as much as possible that they had back then. So we're going to start off uh, with the presentation of the colors, right, from the Boy Scouts of America, Troop 9111. Uh, so uh, and the orchestra will play the Star Spangled Banner and God Bless America. So gentlemen, if you're ready. Star Spangled Banner, be flat. Do we have God Bless America up? All the these rides. I'd like to welcome you to our 30th anniversary celebration. Uh, just quickly by a show of hands, how many of you were here 30 years ago? It's uh, more than six. Uh, all those of you who were here 30 years ago but are not here today, please rise. I want to thank you for your efforts 30 years ago also. Uh, we don't have much in the way of a formal ceremony or anything. Uh, we do want to point out that, you know, things have changed out here in 30 years. Uh, we've gone from two miles of track to over eight miles of track. In fact, you guys will take a ride eastward today uh, to the end of the track. Uh, see what we've been doing, you know, after you guys turned it over for the most part. Uh, we've been very busy organization has grown tremendously. Uh, one of the other things that has happened is uh, 
we become important. And that is, uh, that is an important thing to become. Uh, the county uh, regards us as an important part of the county uh, infrastructure. Uh, so much so that they uh, have decided that if we need it, we can pay for it ourselves. <laughs> we have gone a long way to improving uh, the support of the community of Sonol. Uh You'll have lunch in the community park. That has been built by Sonolians. Uh, <laughs> yeah with our money, but their labor, their volunteer efforts. And as we know, volunteer efforts are, are very important around here. Uh, hopefully we can keep volunteer efforts being the mainstay of the organization for a while longer. Uh, there's going to be a point where there just aren't going to be enough volunteers to keep the thing running. Uh, we'll find alternatives uh, to keep the thing running at that point. But for now, you know, we can still probably say we're an all-volunteer organization. And uh, the pioneers of this volunteer organization are the foundation. You know, what you guys put together uh, is what we have grown into today. Uh, I believe 30 years ago, the annual budget for the Pacific Locomotive Association was roughly $900. Today, it's roughly $1.2 million. Dollars. So, I just wanted to say that you're always a little low. However, there was early days where we celebrated to pay eight hundred dollars in one operating day. Big day, big day. <laughs> well, let's see if we can beat that today. Break up. Once again, uh, sadly, Henry and Connie Luna, who were uh, planning to attend, uh, were unable to make it. So I was counting on Henry to provide a lot of the history uh, as to what had gone on. Uh, but I'd like to ask if any of our current members who would like to come up and say something, uh, if you desire. Maybe Brian would like to say something. <laughs> We've had Brian come back down uh, from the state of Washington. He was the original engineer 30 years ago, and we decided we'd make him do it again, see if he got any better. <laughs> no guarantees. That's that's the word out here. We rarely have guarantees, but we have yet to leave anybody stranded. Never had anybody have to walk back. But, uh, they may they may have had to wait a while, but uh, we've always got the the runs completed. We're very proud of what we've done out here uh, over the years. Uh, I'm very proud to be the president of the organization. Uh, it's great. I'm running one more time, so I'll get my election bid. Uh, uh, sadly, uh, nobody is standing for the position of treasurer this year, uh, which is a problem. And uh, we're still working on seeing if we can solve that. But uh, if any of you have a, a slight financial background, you know you know how to balance a checkbook. Uh, uh, you don't even have to know that the position of treasurer now, because we have an accounting service who balances the checkbook for us. So it's basically you know making a report to the board every month. Uh, that's pretty much the, the the hard part of the job. But uh, hopefully somebody will step up. Uh, if anybody would like to come up and speak. I would. Sure. In case you don't recognize me, um, my name is Mike McQuaid, and I had the privilege of being here 30 years ago and uh, working with many of you people, working for many of you people, uh, who really did the the hard work. Um, I've got to say that the county, Ed Campbell, John Fenstermacher took a big roll of the dice and, and uh, I think we've, we've done ourselves proud and uh, uh, the trust that the county uh, gave us 
by allowing us to use it right away has proved, uh, we proved it that we were uh, deserved it. So congratulations to everybody that uh, is here and those who are not here, uh, some of whom have passed away. Um, and we'll, uh, you guys will keep on, keep on going. I don't know. I had a list, but it wasn't marked that way. So I really uh, don't have that. Maybe by the time we eat, we can work something up. I'm still alive. <laughs> That's debatable, Steve. But it is good to see you back down here. And again, everybody. <laughs> as long as he's not Billy. That's the important part for us. So, uh, nobody else wants to speak. I think the thing to do is uh, those of you who are ticketed for train ride number one, uh, let's get on board. Let's get this show on the road. Thank you again for coming and congratulations.
sausage, all beef, hot dogs, smaller loaf.